So I got it. And I'm about to cheat on my diet because I just got out the gym, but it's okay. Whew, okay. About to cheat on my diet, but it's okay. Got the burger, and we're going to see what they're talking about. Back again, okay. Just got out the gym, so let's see what we're talking about with this burger. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. It is underrated. The consistency of how good McDonald's fries have stayed over the last, I'd say, um, over through the last um, umpteenth years. How did it so Here's the burger. The Travis Scott. And keep in mind, this burger is probably not the first McDonald's burger that had, a, had bacon and shit. I mean, it don't really look that. It don't really, uh, it don't look that special, bro. I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's a, it's a burger. It don't look amazing, like it ain't glowing in the dark or no shit. I mean, I don't know what I expected. Just, I was expecting it to be some amazing type shit. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's good. It ain't glowing in the dark or nothing like that. I ain't, finna, I ain't finna go out here and say it had a greater shock on me than the Chick-fil-A sandwich. I mean, than the Popeye chicken sandwich, but it's good. If I had to compare this to the Popeye chicken sandwich that everybody was raving and craving over this same time last year, I said the Popeye chicken sandwich is better. But it's cool. It ain't bad. It ain't a bad sandwich. It ain't no shit to impress me. Ignoring the quality of the sandwich, the bigger thing is, I wonder, does Travis Scott get a percentage of the sales that they get with this sandwich that has his name attached to it? Also, I wonder, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Did they have to pay him for this, like, or was it just a thing where they just used his name, he was just happy even just to be a part of it? Because... You know, I'm shout out to Joe Budden. Joe Budden brought up something to me that I always think about now. Is um, there used to be a video game. All the PlayStation nerds who played NBA 2K and Def Jam Fight for New York remember this. There was a game that came out called Def Jam Fight for New York, and there was a previous version of it that came out called Def Jam something. It was the very first Def Jam, and it had all these rappers in it that you could play as, who used their real voices, and Joe Budden was one of them, and he said. The craziest example of me knowing I got gypped in the industry was where I, I, I was featured in a video game and did not get paid for it. Like my likeness is in a video game that people can play even to this day and I'm not getting paid for it. Now granted, if you did play Dev Jam, we're not gonna act like Joe Budden was one of the best characters in there. This nigga was a uh, piss poor at best. <laughs> but with that being said, it you know, this that shock. So it is something to be said about if your artist is knowing your work. And I'm pretty sure Travis Scott knows his work. There's a good 65% of white kids who do what they are trying to rap right now. They're trying to either be like him or somebody who's trying to be like him. So shout out to them, shout out to Travis Scott. We are not gonna do every video about reacting to McDonald's foods or various foods that are named after rappers. There's a reason why I didn't do a video about them goddamn Mingle snap snack chips that I keep seeing, snap wrap snacks that I keep seeing at random gas stations everywhere. They keep trying to cater to, to black people. But, so, thank you for listening. This is the Greatest Voice Podcast. I hope you enjoy my presence.